Why am I doing this? Why is this so appealing right now? Awkward Eric is awkward like usual. What is going on everybody? Eric the Electric coming back to you guys again. My Electric Empire with another video. And another $100 fast food menu challenge. The $100 fast food menu challenge you guys saw me take down a few weeks ago at McDonald's. You guys seem to really like that very much. So guess what people? I'm doing another one. But this time, I'm going to Taco Bell. Because you guys know me, I take things up a notch. And I love to live mass. So that's just it, folks. It's a hundred dollar mini challenge at Taco Bell. We're getting some food. It's time to live moss. Let's do this. It's time to live moss, people. But first, you guys know we gotta get the essentials. And to those of you wondering, I go through a lot of tums, okay? And Pepto Bismol. $100 Taco Bell challenge. I'm gonna need a lot of toilet paper. Health and fitness. All right, everyone, we got the goods. Now it's time to get some Taco Bell. Oh yeah. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so we are at our first Taco Bell, and I say first Taco Bell because I wanna have consideration for everyone else. What can I get you? So I'm gonna have a pretty big order. Um, oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I don't accept any of those. Oh, I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna get two party packs, please. Uh, the first party pack, I'm gonna do with the Doritos Locos uh, hard tacos. The second party pack is gonna have uh, six soft tacos and then six hard tacos, please. And then I'm gonna get three orders of the nacho fries, please. Two caramel empanadas and then two crunch wrap supremes, and that's gonna be it. All right, so it's gonna be 51, 54 at the first, or first one. No, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank 45. you. Thank you. Like any hot sauce? Uh, please, just a variety. Thank you. Hey, thanks, man. Is that it? Yes. All right, cool. Have a good day, right? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get to our second Taco Bell. Hey, we're back. It's time for order number two. Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. We have pizza today. So I'm gonna get three uh, grilled stuffed burritos, please. Two grilled stuffed burritos with the steak, and then one grilled stuffed burrito with the chicken, please. Four cinnamon twists, please. Two double cheesy gordita crunches, and then I'm gonna get uh, one Mexican pizza, please. One steak quesadilla, one chicken quesadilla, two diet cokes. That's gonna do it today. All right, thanks so much. Can't wait to live moss. Not gonna be living moss on the toilet tomorrow, but whatever. What's up, dude? What's your name? What's up? I'm Jeffrey. Nice to meet you, man. Say what's up for you in the next video. video right now? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna try to not die after this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to talk about. Perfect. I had to get diet, you know. It yeah. cancels everything out. You know how it works. <laughs> Woo. Hey, thanks, brother. Yeah, good luck. Nice meeting you, buddy. Me Take too. care. I'm, I'm, gonna meet, I'm gonna meet good luck with this. <laughs> Is this real life right now? Is this real life? I got so much Taco Bell in my car. It's time to get this home and get this all presentable. All right, everybody. Well, we got a lot more Taco Bell than this. Let me just tell you that right now. This is about to be insane. Boom. This bag weighs like five pounds. Oh my guys, it's just this, this, this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. This is nuts. Oh man, what am I doing? <coughs> you guys have to excuse me. I'm a little bit under the weather. Hold on one second. Vitamin C goes a long way. Even though I'm really not gonna be feeling too good after this challenge tomorrow. Cheers. Well guys, welcome back to another $100 fast food feast and I, I couldn't be more excited to bring you guys another challenge again. And it was between doing a Girl Scout cookie challenge and doing a $100 Taco Bell menu challenge and we decided to do $100 at Taco Bell. Maybe for the next challenge we'll have to do the world's biggest Girl Scout cookie challenge. So if you guys wanna see that, you gotta let me know down below. Let's see how much we spend here today. I can't actually find my receipt for the other Taco Bell. Hmm. So I'll have to pull it up on our phone. So at the first Taco Bell, we spent $51.54. And at the second Taco Bell, we spent $50.21. By my calculations, like I said in my McDonald's video, I failed math multiple times, but that's $101.75. 101.75, guys. So that's what our grand total came to be for this $100 Taco Bell mini challenge. And what I want you guys to do right now, since we're at this part of the video, is let me know down below. You guys gotta let me know where you want me to go for the next $100 fast food menu challenge. Guys, we have so many possibilities when it comes to fast food. Let me know what you wanna see down below. Taco Bell is one of my favorites, guys. It's one of my favorite places to go. I like Mexican pizzas, I like burritos, I like tacos. I've been able to put down 76 tacos in 10 minutes. That's actually my PR at a contest a few years ago. But guys, my, my point is I, I know my Mexican food, or at least I know my Americanized Mexican food. And boy, does it just smell sensational. So good. I'm not gonna blabber on anymore, folks. Let's get all this unwrapped and get it all presentable. 
the bag with the caramel empanadas. Hold on, I'm gonna need a moment. And you guys know I had to get the all new nacho fries. Actually, they're not all new because they came out like a year and a half ago, but I got them for this challenge, of course. And look at that, folks. Boom, we have us a Mexican pizza right there, guys. If you have not had a Mexican pizza before, they are sensational, they are delicious, they are everything that's good about fast food. You gotta try it out. That is our crunch wrap supreme right there, folks. These are amazing as well. Actually, I can't even think of an item that I don't like at Taco Bell, to be honest. I really can't. I really cannot think of one. And I think this bag is just filled with cinnamon twists. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. This is a lot of food. Oh, and of course, I forgot my beverages. I actually finished off half of this in the car. Oh, you know what? Now I almost forgot, guys. I gotta inform my Instagram and Snapchat what I'm doing right now. If you guys haven't followed me yet, you guys gotta follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Eric the Electric. Snapchat crew, next video, everybody. Do it. They see it first. I gotta slip into something a little bit more fitting, like always. One second. The tank tops may be sold out, everyone, but I do promise I have more merchandise coming very, very soon. So if you guys haven't yet, you guys can check out the store down below in the description, and there will be some new merchandise coming in the next few weeks, so get ready for it. Now that we've gotten that all out of the way, people, I can let you all know, my electric empire, that the total calories for this entire $100 Taco Bell menu challenge, those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. And because I have to, folks, we got a lot of pretty much everything in this challenge, protein, fat, carbs, <laughs> sodium, yeah, a lot of sodium. Total macros for this $100 Taco Bell menu challenge. Those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. Without further ado, everyone, my friends and family, members of the Electric Empire, this is the $100 Taco Bell menu challenge. Let's do this. Alrighty, folks, so we're ready to get this challenge started right now. What you guys have to do before we get in the way, like always with every single challenge, folks, everyone in the Electric Empire, you guys know, you gotta give the video a like if you you already know, I did. Oh snap, this is the double cheesy gordita crunch that I just got in my latest car collection. I think we're gonna start with this one first. My friends and family, it's time to live moss. Let's do this. All right guys, so that's all done. Now we have this one, which I think is chalupa or something. I can't even remember what I got. Whatever it is, it's really good. You guys know we gotta do the mild. The mild actually isn't that bad, if you think about it. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. You have a crunch wrap supreme. And guys, what you gotta do is to jazz up your crunch wrap is the following ranch rising. Oh my goodness gracious, if you ranch rise, you are taking your fast food game up a notch. Boom. W, oh, W moment. All right, guys. Why are there people getting the trash at 6.30 at night? It's weird. We'll wait. A few moments later. Things I gotta deal with, man. Things I gotta deal with. YouTube problems. Two hours later. <sighs> Six hours later. Three weeks later. Anyways, like I was saying, whew, these crunch wraps are absolutely amazing. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of interesting opinions down below in the comments. I need to refresh myself right now with my, my diet a and W. But what I need to know, since you guys out there, you guys are Taco Bell connoisseurs, I know since you clicked on this video, what do you guys like at Taco Bell in terms of sauces? Because we have mild, we also have the Diablo sauce, and we also have the, hold on, I have to do this just because I'm me. We have the fire sauce. Personally, I'm a, I'm a mild sauce person and they always give you way more sauce than you need to talk about. Like sauce rise, people. It's a way of life. Just do it. Boom. All right, guys, well, are you serious? Anyways, hopefully they, they stop eventually, but now we have to get to our first taco box. I, I kind of had something happen again. You guys remember the card collection, Carl's Jr.? This is about to be, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Taco Bell. Let's fix your boxes, please. This is actually gonna be our trash can. I have so much trash. Now I can ask you guys, are you team hard taco or team soft taco? You guys know me, I'm team hard taco. 
That's worth it. Oh, that crunch though. Man, I think we need to take a break from the corn tacos. And now we need to try out this really hot looking taco. Yeah, that's hot. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Ooh, yes. I have no idea why anyone would like these red, fiery tacos of death. I realize I'm insulting a lot of people right now, but guys, I'm just sometimes when it comes to spice, it's just not my thing. All right, well, the first family size box of tacos is down. You know, and I actually think, I was thinking get, about getting three boxes of tacos. Talk about unnecessary, man. I think we need to get to one of these burritos now. Real stuffed XXL burrito. Honestly, they're, they're amazing. And at the end of the day, they're better than Chipotle. Come on, guys, you should know that. Boom. Oh. And there you have it, people. Steak, sour cream, cheese, beans, rice. It's like a complete meal right there. You know what we can do to jazz this up a little bit, guys? Yep, I'm going there, I'm going there. Sometimes I just overkill with ranch, but it's just a way of life. I gotta show some love to my people on Snapchat. If you guys haven't yet, you can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you guys wanna be in a future video. I'm so excited for your video, I can't wait. I'm excited for that you're excited, thank you. Wow, it, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys basically asking me what the difference is between a fire moment and a W-O-W moment. There's a level of epicness when it comes to food. When it, when it's a fire moment, that's that's really good. Basically on a scale of one to 10, that's like a seven, okay? If I do a double fire, that's like a seven and a half to an eight. Triple or quadruple fire, that's like a nine. If it's a W-O-W moment, that is a 10. That means the food is off the charts. W-O-W moments will always surpass fire moments. Just thought I'd let you guys know that. Do you hear that? Is that possibly a W-O-W moment? <laughs> what have I done? Like I said, I'm a little under the weather right now, but I'm trying to get back on track. By getting back on track, that means for me, at least stuffing my face with thousands of calories of Taco Bell. But you know, we all have our remedies, I guess, right? Boom. All right, guys, well, our burritos are down. That was rather rough. I think it's time to get to actually this Mexican pizza now. That is a Mexican pizza. A Mexican pizza is basically two fried tortillas with beef, enchilada sauce, cheese, and of course, pico de gallo, because pico de gallo is amazing. Oh my goodness gracious, let's do this. It's so fire. Oh my goodness gracious. And now our quesadillas, like so. This is the steak quesadilla. All right guys, well, all the quesadillas are down. So now it looks like we have our nacho fries left and our last box of tacos and our dessert. Personally, I have no idea why they gave me a black Taco Bell nacho fry box and two other ones, but oh well. It's kind of messing with me, but I'm just gonna pretend like it never happened. Now what you do with the nacho fries is the following. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Step one, dip fry in nacho sauce, like so. Step two, inspect to see if you have enough nacho sauce. I think we're good. Step three, enjoy. Woo! That fire! Wow. Nacho cheesy deliciousness. Oh, I got one knock at the door. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not busy right now. Sorry. <sighs> that feeling when someone tries to sell you something and you have like 10,000 calories of Taco Bell sitting inside you? I know, buddy. I know. We have 12 tacos left and then dessert. Goodness gracious. Here we go, guys. Let's do this. Last hard taco. Oh. All right, guys, and two tacos left. 
got dessert. You guys are still with the flow of the video. What I want you guys to comment down below is softy because we're finishing with some softy tacos. Doesn't really make sense, but whatever. Whew. What we got left is some of my favorite things, actually dessert items ever. We got those and we got some caramel empanadas right here. These things are absolutely amazing. I think we gotta get into these empanadas first. All right, people, let's see what's on the inside right here. That was a fail. Oh, we got some apple, we got some caramel. Oh, it's caramel empanada, I'm stupid. I just can't think because I have a sodium rush running through me right now. Woo! Boom. W, oh, W moment. That's what I think about these cinnamon twists. Oh, and just like that everybody that has been another video if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to let me know down in the comments below and also like i said earlier in the video let me know where you want me to go for the next hundred dollar fast food challenge subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell right next to that subscribe button so you guys get notified whenever a future upload happens follow me on my social media facebook snapchat twitter instagram you know the drill thanks again for watching the video everybody